is limit breaks heavy assault deal 700 percent magic damage or physical magic damage the lower your hp the higher the ability potency okay so this goes up to seven oh my god 2100 percent before you upgrade it uh 250 percent all or all enemies is low like very low oh but it's a mid decrease for physical attack and magic attack at an 800 speed this is really good this is really good so basically this removes your need to equip this in a weapon slot because right now what we were doing before we were using like electro cannon as an example to lower the entire enemy team's physical attack and magic attack this gives you an 800 charge speed limit break that does the same thing and it frees up a weapon slot which is dope that's pretty cool because this is spammable this is like what three moves i think and you charge us back up or something like that it's three or four moves add astra veil veil all allies he just gives veil to all your allies that's sick dude that's sick this is so cool this is so cool that's gonna that's gonna have some that's gonna have some use that's gonna have some use i like this i like this We'll pop open to the open to the banner. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at Angel's weapons, starting with the very bottom one, which is I'm sorry you say that. <laughs> Ain't no way that was the first weapon I looked at. Sequoia Dendron, nailed it, nailed it. What the hell? <laughs> what a name. <laughs> okay, so it is a uh, it is a physical earth weapon. <laughs> it does look cool. It does look cool. It's a physical earth weapon with earth potency 52. This is great. This is great. There's only one physical earth damage dealer in the game right now, and that's Yuffie. But right now, Yuffie doesn't actually have a whole lot of like super good options for physical earth um, sub weapons. So if you're ever pulling for physical earth Yuffie builds, this is actually a really good item to have as a sub weapon. 52 earth potency is great. Otherwise, uh, solid weapon, 648 attack, uh, solid solid damage to 1200% uh, is pretty massive. I don't know what the break point is for this. I think it's like 30% usually when it says the lower your HP and the max is times two, I think it's 30% of your max is when it hits the, the max. But we'll have we'd have to test it and see but yeah great 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 gargantuan monolith are all of these going to be ridiculous because because <laughs> i'm gonna need i'm gonna need to know now right i'm gonna need to know now if this is gonna be ridiculous all the way through all right provoke is applied okay so the provoke is a new so he gets two new keywords that's crazy so now he can provoke enemies to hit him which is the first time it's been in the game then he also has the ability to give himself a shield that can block effects, which is the first time it's happened in the game. And now in this weapon, he casts Provoke on himself and a magic defense buff up high at OB10. I imagine that's a breakpoint at OB6, yes. But it does go up to high at OB0. So this by itself is just, is just good. You only need one copy of this for it to actually be useful. And then even if you don't, this is a great sub weapon because it's HP magic defense. The only ones that are in the game right now, this is gonna fly under people's radar. I guarantee it. This will fly under people's radar, except for like the the folks who are doing the late game content right now. People are gonna look at this and go, oh, HP magic defense, whatever. This is the first time a gotcha weapon has had these two abilities. Like 99% certain. I'm gonna go double check that really quick to invent that, but I'm pretty confident that that is correct. So this one is heal magic defense. This is a, these are all event weapons, event weapons, event weapons, event weapons. This one's not an event weapon, magic defense, fire resist, event weapon, event weapon, event weapon. Uh, this one is technically obtainable, but it's not a gotcha weapon. This is a drop weapon. So this was the only other one in the game, right? That exists. And this one went up to, I think it goes to 46 and 26. Yeah. So this one, the, his, his gotcha weapon is 46 HP and 52 magic defense. Okay. So that's way better than that one. Magic defense, ice resist, no. Free weapon, free we or gotcha weapon, no, no, no. Heal, magic defense, magic defense, magic attack. This was a free weapon as well. Magic defense, magic ability potency, no. Lightning resist, magic defense, no. And then magic defense, earth potency, so no. 
So this is outside of the Bahamut Knuckles, which is a droppable weapon from fighting Bahamut over and over again. This is the first time there's been a gotcha weapon that you can pull for that has those two stats on it. And not only that, but the stats are actually really high on top of it. The only bad downside to this is that the uh, stats are kind of low, but as a sub stick, a sub slot weapon for 23 magic defense and 26 magic defense, you you put the uh, HP, mag I said magic defense twice, sorry, 23 HP, which gets you to 30% extra HP. This magic defense as a sub weapon gives you 45% magic defense right off the rip by itself at OB10. This is a great weapon. This is really good. Plus, it also, again, I think this one looks cool. All right, two for two so far. Innocent Warrior. These are going to be ridiculous. Uh, automatically good. 31 attack, 52 fire potency, automatically good. This is actually a great sub weapon for Tifa. For Tifa and Zach fire, fire builds. Both of them. Both of them. This has more uh, magic attack than, um, than Zach's fire weapon that was also that's his is boost attack 31 and boost fire potency 52 but this is a great sub weapon for the fire builds for both zach and for tifa so that's that's excellent <laughs> they are all ridiculous this is fantastic stalwart integrity <laughs> uh oh it's physical defense all allies nice that's huge. This is great. Yeah, this is automatic. And it's four. Ooh, it's four gauges too. Nice. Yeah, no, this is good. This is, um, oh, what the f <laughs> So, um, this is going to be wishlist on every single banner you pull on going forward. This is, uh, Aerith's Kimura wand, but physical defense. This is insanely good. This is insanely good. Having this at OB6 is going to be a difference maker for people's accounts. This is insanely good. That I, I I have nothing else to say. This is this is probably the best weapon we've seen so far. The fact that this is just in his ticket pool is insane. Because remember that the Kimura wand is a limited item. So if you didn't pull on the Monster Hunter banner, so the folks who just started playing like a couple weeks ago, right? So this will be on every single wish list, including when we pull on the water banner, unless this water weapon sucks, which it doesn't look like it does. But um, this will be on every every single every single one. This is insanely strong, insanely strong. I don't don't forget that stalwart integrity. I'm actually gonna write that down. That's insane. CC alloy greatsword. Well, that's really good. It's a single target magic damage lightning weapon for 900%. It's like they heard me. I, I was just talking about this the other day. That Vincent's um, lightning weapon is the first. Is only like the one of two options that are single target lightning damage in this game that are not like limited weapons because Tifa's was a limited banner. So in a vacuum, if you have, um, if you pulled for Vincent or if you have Tifa's Monster Hunter banner, you don't need this, right? Cause those, those two actually do more damage than this. Uh, both of those weapons do, even Tifa's does and Tifa's comes with a magic attack buff. So don't hear what I'm not saying. This weapon is not as good as those weapons are. However, if you don't have either of those weapons, this weapon is great. 900% magic lightning damage is really high. 62 boost magic attack means that he gets to max out his magic attack on his own at OB10. 664 magic attack is a very good number. The only downside is it doesn't have a sigil break. And lightning potency is a little low. But other than that, that's a, that's a good sword. That's just a good sword. You'll love to see it. Shinra Greatsword Model 1. Shock Slash, Earth Resist decreased. Unbelievable. He's got some great weapons, dude. 620% non-elemental damage, Earth Resist decrease, and Veil on Self. For four. Crazy. That's okay. Again, just really good. The only downside with this weapon, same as before, no sigil break. Other than that, great. Buff debuff extension, great. Earth debuff goes up to high. I imagine it's in uh, yep, OB6 breakpoint, but goes up to high with just one copy. This is a great weapon. That's it. Just a great weapon. No, no if hands or butts. Next. Type 91 two-hander. Good lord. It's a three-gager. Diamond sigil break. Physical attack decreased up to high. And magic attack decreased up to high. But the only single enemy. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So the magic attack decrease uh, starts at mid and stays at mid, but mag or physical attack goes up to high. 
um, with a diamond sigil break, this is the reason this kind of weapon is what I need to beat that iron giant. I'm not even kidding. And this does two of the things that needs to be done. And this will help, this will help me finish it. And it's only three gauges as well. Other than that, pretty niche. Um, a three gauge move that lowers physical attack and magic attack at the same time is very strong. So don't hear what I'm not saying. If you get a copy of this, it's great. I don't think you have to prioritize this in any capacity. Um, it's just, it's just pretty good. It's pretty good. Our abilities aren't anything super special either, right? It's just uh, HP and ability potency and it's 46 and 39. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's okay. It's all right. This is probably the le the most underwhelming one, quote unquote, but it still has its uses. Like the one I just gave you, like it's, it's still, it still has its uses. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Great sword A. Uh, okay. Just physical defense decreased all ally or all enemies, huh? Goes up to high. Hmm. Cool. That's just good. Again, again, this is just good. And it goes up to, uh, oh good. 52 ability potency and 31 physical attack. This is a great weapon. This is a great weapon. This is feeling very reminiscent of Vincent when we went over Vincent's uh, pool of weapons. But like with Angeal so far, I think there's only been one weapon where I was just like, yeah, I mean, it has a use, but like you probably will only use it in that circumstance, but otherwise you probably won't. All of these weapons are either good sub weapons for good builds in the game or just generally good. Like this does physical defense down high all at all enemies. There isn't anything that does that in the game right now, I don't believe that does all enemies. I think it's only single target for high. All of the AOE ones are mid. So it's minus two instead of minus three. I think this is the first one that does minus three in an AOE. And it's a 30 second duration, which is very long, especially because he has a weapon in here. I forget which one it was. Was it this one? Yeah, that had buff debuff extension. But yeah, this is a good weapon. And we already went over the uh, type 90 longsword. This is a good weapon as well. If only just for the physical defense, uh, but having a, a damaging weapon that or, uh, puts provoke on and regen is great because then while he's attacking, he's applying regen to himself, which is slowly healing him while he has high defensive stats with a decent physical attack stat as well. This is a good weapon. And we got, we got that one for free. So yeah, um, golly, man. I don't, I, we'll talk about wishlist when we get there, but this is a, uh, this is a great pool, starting pool of weapons for Angeal. This makes him pretty useful right off the rip, right? Because even if like you don't, let's say you don't pull for his water outfit here and you only pull for the tickets and you, you just skip the waters things, right? Which is valid, right? Uh, we're still recovering from anniversary. If you can't afford it, I totally understand it. Like we're free to play players for the most part. I, I completely understand, right? Totally understand. If you only got a couple of five, five stars from this pool alone, I think the only weapon that you could get that would make him not immediately useful is this one, right? I think this is the only one that isn't instantly useful where you can like use him on a team for something. Everything else has a use, right? Everything else he like, it, you can slot him into a team immediately. Uh, this one, I guess is also, this is more of a sub weapon more than anything else. I guess Innocent Warrior is also pretty um, just okay but everything else has a use. That's crazy. That's crazy how, how good this, this pool of weapon is. Weapons are rather.